Advisors Managing Partner Ted Oakley is here with more on that. Don't miss it. You're watching Mornings with Maria live on Fox Business. We'll be right back. Oh, welcome back. Retail earnings on deck today and this week. Take a look at Lowe's. The company reported earnings just a few moments ago. They beat on second quarter earnings estimates, but they missed on revenue expectations. They're also cutting their annual profit forecast. They're talking about weak home improvement demand. Lowe's comp store sales were down 5.1 percent. That's a big number. We'll hear from Target, TJX and Macy's tomorrow, followed by BJ's and Dollar Tree on Thursday. We're watching these stocks this morning. Joining me now is Ted Oakley. Ted, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining Thanks. me this morning. I want to get your reaction to earnings season so far. How would you, what are your takeaways? Well, I think they're coming in poor uh, in general, especially on the consumer side right now. And they keep talking about retail sales, but retail sales haven't gone up in the last three or four years, really. They've been flatlined. And, and people look at lows, but the same thing happened on Home Depot. The same thing happened on Starbucks. I mean, we've seen a lot of companies that are coming in really short of what they should be. Uh, what do you think is going on here? You know, a New York Federal Reserve survey finds that U.S. workers are growing upset with their employment situation, their compensation, saying that the satisfaction with wages, non-wage benefits and promotion opportunities uh, are uh, not what they wanted uh, at respondents' current jobs all deteriorated last month, they say. Meanwhile, Zero Hedge wrote this on X. The Bureau of Labor Statistics will, quote, downward revise jobs for the April 2023 through March 2024 period by up to a million jobs on Wednesday. We're waiting for these revisions, Ted. It means that all beats recorded in the past year will have been misses and that the U.S. jobs market is in far worse shape than the administration would admit. This from Zero Hedge. New data shows revisions to this year's jobs reports results in 161,000 fewer jobs than previously reported, Ted. Your thoughts on really the, the strength or lack of of this macro story? Well, you know, Maria, I, I really never cussed, I trusted those government statistics because they, they always sort of rigged them in a certain way, particularly if you look at uh, in the participation rate, that sort of thing. But if you clear all that out of there, it's weak. And I think uh, the problem you're talking about, it was saw last week that three out of five people in the country workers think we're already in a recession. And that's basically because they're having to pay such high prices and their wages really haven't gone up or real wages haven't gone up that much. So they're in a jam. And I think that that, that shows up in when shopping, because you're seeing all these companies saying, hey, we're doing less and less. Yeah, that's a good point, Ted. So what does that mean for investing? How do you allocate capital in an economy that is clearly slowing down, that is clearly affecting earnings as well, Ted? Well, I know for us, and I, I think people uh, keep chasing into these big tech stocks, but for us, you know, we shifted a lot. We own utilities. You know, uh, uh, if you, you see some of the things we've gone into, we've gone into energy utilities, uh, real estate investment trusts, some pipelines. We, we've gone into things that typically do well, uh, consumer staple type stocks that, that do well during poorer times. In other words, you, think you have to have things that people have to buy or have to own during that period. I don't think people have made that shift, but it's been a good place to be really the last three months. Mm. And then in addition, I think uh, you can buy, you know, you should have bought at least and moved your maturities out a little bit in here on the bonds because the bonds are doing well now, too. Yeah, it's true. Look at this market. Dow Industrials up 8 percent, but the Nasdaq up 19 percent year to date. Uh, John Lonsky, jump in here. What a performance for the markets in the face of this slowing economy, John. Yeah, that's incredible. And of course, the reason why the markets do so well amid a slowing economy is because corporate earnings growth is being driven not by faster revenue growth, but by cost cutting. And unfortunately, you can get away with growing uh, profits through cost cutting for only so long. And we might, you know, Soon enough, run into that particular wall. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ted? Well, that's true, and I think what's happened is uh, with with the companies. You know, they've 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 gone out as long as they can, but where they have to really pay the price here and say, "Hey, times are tougher." And I think those margins will shrink. I agree with John on that. I think those margins will shrink, and I think people chasing these prices are at the wrong end right now. I, the, these prices are very high relative to what you're buying in the marketplace right now. All right, Ted, we will leave it there. Great to see you this morning, sir. Thank you. Ted Oakley joining us. Hello, everyone. I just want to say if you like this video and you want to see more of this type of information, 
because we really try to get the information that you don't see from anybody else, then be sure and click on subscribe and you'll see more of what we do here at Oxbow.